basically like what five six seconds down harry tamfield no so charlie tamfield was like off the back terrible ride not good gb just terrible basically denmark though also terrible you can't just ride head down in a velodrome and expect no one to be there and to be honest like I don't want to be rude, but maybe I will be rude, but it does sort of serve them right for having a ridiculous position. Like if you watch the video, which we've just seen, his position is so head down. He literally can't see a thing. And it's like, okay, yeah, maybe you expect to not catch GB, which you'd hope they wouldn't catch GB because you know, they are quite good. But at the same time, you can't just expect to have a velodrome to yourself unless you're qualifying. So I really don't have much sympathy for Denmark. And then the bloke afterwards started ch shouting at Harry, uh, uh, Charlie Tanfield. And it's like, well, it's not really his fault. He got detached, which is also actually irrelevant if he got detached or not. You rode into the back of him. Like, I don't understand it. But anyway, I mean, I'm not sure what's going to happen. This is just quick, straight after the event. I'm not sure what the commissaires have decided. Maybe they said that he can, maybe Denmark should get disqualified. I feel like they should just rerun it. I mean, Denmark should get through, in my honest opinion. Obviously, I'm British and it would be great if we got to the final, but we don't deserve it. We're terrible. But at the same time, I think Denmark also don't deserve it because they literally crashed into us. And maybe it would set a bad precedent that if you were losing, you just crash into them and then you'd get a rerun. Because imagine if it was the opposite way around and GB swung up on purpose to take Denmark out knowing they get a rerun because something bad happened. That wouldn't be a great precedent either. But anyway, all it goes to show, kids, is when you're time trialing, when you're doing team pursuiting, probably make sure that you can see and don't have a position where you can't see and the head down riding everyone makes fun of the ctt in the uk who are like head down riding is very dangerous but we literally saw on the olympics head down riding causes crashes and these kids they need to stop having their stupid pock helmets looking in their arms and actually have a look where they're going and maybe they wouldn't crash and would have set a world record but anyway that's enough from me quick little vid and we'll see you later